hello friends welcome back to the new video so today we are going to solve one of my uh, you can say subscribers issue that is uh, Vivek Kumar Sharma has reported some of the issue one issue that is let me show you okay so here we go with here you said that the invariant violation view prop types has been removed from the react native migrate to view prop types exported from the depreciated react native prop types so basically what exactly the issue means that some of your modules are still using the view prop types and that is depreciated in the coming versions so it's just a patch i'm using just a patch that you needs to be added so that this kind of issues not going to face any more in your react native project okay so those who haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe my channel and hit like to this video if it really helpful to you and it will resolve your issue okay so let's get started so uh, basically i'm doing the youtube integration that that will be that you will be come to know in the next coming video how to integrate the youtube uh, youtube integration so I will, I'm just doing that one. And in meanwhile, uh, this error comes that invariant violation view prop types has been removed from the React Native migrate to view prop types exported from depreciated React Native prop types. So the, how to deal with that issue, how to fix that issue, we are going to learn in this video. So let's get started. So see that. So I have already uh, tell you that this is a patch. Okay. So whenever you are going to up, uh, update the node modules or something like this, you need to add this patch. Okay. It's just a temporary fix. Not you can see that it's a full flesh fix. So whenever you have to update the node modules, you need to temporarily add this uh, section over to your node modules. Okay. So let's see. So basically uh, the issue comes from here, the index.js file. So basically all the this is responsible for this one. This section is responsible for the prop types that you are getting in. Basically index.js resides in your React Native node modules, React Native index.js. So you can see that there is a depreciative prop types, right? So what we have to do is so you can see that I have added this patch. So you need to add this patch here, okay? And this will what uh, what will happen here. So currently I will show you previous code it exactly it is. I'm going to copy this the full fledged one. So this is the previous. Uh, I will show you what exactly the previous one. So control N, control V, and here we go with the index. Let's see this one. So currently it's this one. Like currently it's like this. Okay. Now when I upload this code, I use this control Y. And I'm just using console.one, console.one. Okay. So after using this one and saving this one, my issue got resolved. And you can see that there is no issue here. Previously it was showing, but now it's resolved. Okay. That is a warning. But your code, but previous it was error, but now it's a warning. Okay. So you can now uh, like you play with your code and now your code will be working on that. Okay. So this is how we can, it's a, it's a patch that you can use to removing that error. And this is how my code is working fine. So you will, in the next video, we're going to learn about the uh, this uh, YouTube integration in the coming video, which is, you can see that I'm getting that issue, which I resolved by using this method. So if it is really helpful to you, then you can also implement this method and resolve your issue. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.